I'm not one for extreme sports, but I really enjoyed following along with these adventures. It was so cool to watch them snowboarding and surfing and even jumping out of airplanes in these really amazing locations. The places they visited were so beautiful and I think they did a good job of not only capturing that, but also the feeling of riding the waves and going down the mountains. I enjoyed all the commentary too. I thought it brought a lot of depth to the footage and I actually liked some of the behind the scenes stuff better than the adventures. Um, hearing about the safety precautions, for example, was really interesting. A lot of sports documentaries kind of gloss over that stuff, but I appreciated hearing about the prep and how something like landing the wrong way off a jump could cause an avalanche and be very dangerous. So I thought that was great. Overall, this whole thing was put together really well and I enjoyed watching it. Chase that feeling. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is such an awesome, inspiring, documentary film. I was so blessed to be able to watch. Um, thank you so much for doing this, uh, for filming you guys, your journeys over these years, many, many years, and then sharing it with the world. I just think it's so special and it touched my soul. Um, it impressed me on many levels. I think um, one of the things was just connecting with nature and doing something you absolutely love and that just nourishes your soul. Um, I loved their friendship um, with the guy's friendship and that they were connecting together, bonding on something they loved and in nature um, and not on their phones all the time or couldn't be on their phones. I love the disconnect from the phones in society and just being together and enjoying each other and what they love to do. Um, the camera work, the photography, the drone shots, so awesome. These landscapes were so breathtaking, gorgeous, beautiful. I love to travel and it makes me want to go everywhere that they went. Um, I love that the, these guys explained, you know, things as they were going along and didn't leave us guessing on certain subjects. Um, and I love that they mentioned that they had to work their butt off, butts off for like a year or months before they went on these adventures, but that they made it a priority in their life to do these things together. Um, the production value was just spot on. There's no reason this shouldn't do like amazing and be on all the different applications. Amazon, Netflix, in the theaters. I mean, it's so well done um, and inspiring. And it, like I said, it really did touch my soul. I think it's a very special, story that you shared and the things that you guys have gone through and that you still embrace life to its fullest and take your risks in these natural settings that are just so um like alaska the mountains there and the snowboarding and the possible avalanches uh i wouldn't be doing that but i lived vicariously through you guys it felt like i was on this trip with you and jumping out of the planes and bungee jumping. I mean, you guys are such athletes doing all these different activities outdoors, golfing. I really loved the variety. I just think it was so well done. And I'm so sorry for the loss of your friend and photographer. So talented. Um, and just, you know, this is such a lesson on doing what makes you happy. Getting that feeling and fi finding it wherever you can because life is short. And, um, I don't know. I just really appreciate that you guys took all this footage and made it into a documentary and shared it with us. Um, great job and keep up the adventures. <laughs> Breathtaking views of snowy mountains, tropical waves, and drone shots of lonely but gorgeous plains. I also love that the footage often included stunning wildlife, notably dolphins, birds, and other mammals. These guys were true adventure seekers and were so brave with activities such as snowboarding, surfing, and skydiving. I appreciated the message of the film, which is live life to the fullest as it is short. I was happy to see the respect they had for nature and each other. I also liked the upbeat soundtrack, complete with some awesome vocals. Great film. Chase That Feeling was very awe-inspiring in the sense of just hearing the stories of these guys, these thrill seekers. Um, they live a very intense life, needless to say. Uh, and from the stories they've told, they're obviously, they're very dangerous lives. But that being said, they, instead of shying away whenever they've had an injury or um, 
had an unfortunate passing, they've decided um, to embrace how limited life is and they decide to make the most out of it. And I think that's a very powerful aspiration to live by, um, to always live it to the fullest so that no matter what at the end, um, you have no regrets. Oh my God, this whole film was just gorgeous. The cinematography was above and beyond fantastic. I loved the opening of this too, how they kind of set everything up. I thought that that was very smart to introduce you to both uh, Gilso and BT and going with them on this journey, not only of their friendship, but all of the places that they've seen. It was just really exquisite. You got invested in the both of them very, very early on, especially when it was, I believe BT was talking about he was surfing and there was a boat that had hit him and stuff like that. You just became, you cared about both of them. And that was awesome. Getting a chance to watch them surf some of those swells, it was just magnificent. I'm probably gonna be saying a lot of the same things over and over again because the cinematography and just the film itself was so stunning that I'm gonna gush a little bit on how much I enjoyed it. Um, the skydiving shots, oh God, you really felt like you were there. I could feel my stomach kind of flutter and rise up into my throat and then go back down. The underwater shots were just amazing. That clear, clear water, everything that they got to do, I feel really privileged to be able to vicariously live through them and their experiences. The stories were absolutely great. Great job on this. I really, I loved it. This is a very detailed recount of these extreme sports athletes chasing waves and downhill snowboarding. Well, down cliffs, actually. They have impressive footage from the sea in Australia Impressive footage as well from the most amazingly massive waves in Tahiti, uh, rainbows, mountains in Alaska. They are incredibly talented individuals and the accidents they have lived through and survived from. The trip to New Zealand offering the chance to surf and snowboard and bungee jumping all in the same region. They also showcase the best photographer and action cinematographer, and then finding out he passed away. It is just outstanding. Also, they do wing studying in Iceland. Their lives are just full of adventures and thrilling passions. It's just so engaging and entertaining to watch. And yeah, they are living the life. Mm -hmm.